You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. One. It's the Mother's Day Makeover Contest winner episode. I have Leslie Polgar from You Enhance joining me here on the set. Leslie, thanks oh, for coming. Thank you for having me. Thanks for partnering with me on this fun show. I know, it was a lot of fun. It was very, very fun. And I can't wait to introduce our winner. Um, but before I do that, I am going to read her winning entry letter. Dear Sarah and Leslie, I would like to recommend my girl girlfriend, Claire Taylor, for your Mother's Day makeover. She is an amazing mother of a five-year-old and works full-time as a teacher in West Hartford. Claire adopted her daughter Faith when she was 45 years old. We met when Faith was eight months old and I have watched Claire become a remarkable first-time mother. Faith has special needs and Claire does all she can to help her daughter be successful. Claire has the energy of a young parent and hardly ever slows down. She volunteers in town and takes on many extra projects in her school. I think she is beautiful, but she doesn't pamper herself. I believe Claire would be a great candidate for your contest and would love every minute of the experience. So I am very happy to introduce our audience to Claire Taylor. So here is Claire in her new look, brand new hairdo, makeup. One of her first outfits that Leslie helped pick out at her home. Claire, how do you feel? Congratulations. Oh, thank you. I love it. Yeah? Step, yeah. step back and let, let's okay. chat a little bit. So, um, so you're very busy. You have a daughter mm -hmm. and you're a teacher in right. the West Hartford School System. Yep. Yep. And then, um, so how, what did you think about uh, the concept of having someone come and rummage through your closets and pick out clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's always nice to have another perspective. You mm -hmm. know, you get used to the same clothes or you don't notice clothes that you haven't used. So it was nice to have someone take a, an outside look mm -hmm. at, at what I had. And I noticed we found things that I didn't know would look good or things that should have gone a while ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was really great to have things cleaned out. Yeah, so it's part, partly sorting and then assembling. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, I, I was there when that whole process mm -hmm. happened. It was very fun. Leslie, you do a great job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you, are you able to spend a lot, I guess you're not able to spend a lot of time, do you wish you had more time to spend on, I guess, sort of personal outfits and... Well, yeah, but having my closet organized and cleaned out a bit, it's a lot easier. Like you said, had the go-to outfits and... Um, for a week now, I've had all these nice outfits and different combinations to wear yeah. that I never put together before. So you've been wearing them to school? Oh, every day. And what are people saying? Lots of compliments. It's okay. been fun. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> well done, <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> Thank you. So um, when you arrived at the studio, you were, did not have your makeup done, your hair was not done, you were kind of in one of your before outfits. Right. So let's take a look at the process of Leslie doing the hair and makeup makeover portion of the um, show. So part of the Mother's Day Makeover TLC treatment that Claire is going to get is a um, makeover and a new hairstyle. Um, it's something that busy moms never have enough time to spend on. So Leslie is going to um, take it up from here. First what we'll do is just even her skin tone out a bit. What I'd like to do with base, really, is just completely take away all the color, make it all one color. So this is base you're putting on, or foundation? That's foundation. Okay. And now how do you pick foundation color? Uh, you match it to their neck. It shouldn't be lighter and it shouldn't be darker. I think most people, or a lot of people, think that foundation is to add color, but you're saying no. That's correct. It's not to add color. Actually, that's what blush and bronzer are for. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that's why when you start with a foundation, you're literally making a nice clean slate to work with. So okay. like I had mentioned, you just take all the color away and then you add the color where you want it. You want a bronze and then you want to add blush, you want to add eyes and add 
lips. So then that way you're bringing out the features you want as opposed to where you're a little red here, where you have a sunspot mm -hmm. here. I mean, all of Age spots. Yeah. Fun, fun <laughs> things. All those that great happens. things that show up as you get older. The reason why I put foundation on your eyelid is so that way it creates a nice little base before your eyeshadow. So your eyeshadow. Oh, interesting. I wouldn't have thought of doing will that. Will stay and it'll just won't settle in the creases and it won't move from the oils of your natural oils of your eyes. Next thing I'm going to put on is concealer. You have like a full artist's paint, <laughs> paint box of brushes and it's like a palette over here and, and all sorts of different sizes of brushes and it's a lot of fun. You know, you really get to play with a lot of color and it's like toys. <laughs> it is like toys, exactly. Right now, I'm just adding a nice bronzer to her skin. And this is going to just add a little bit more color since I took it all away. Now, where you apply bronzer is where you're sun kissed, a little bit on your forehead, on your nose, and half moon right here. This creates the effect of having sun kissed skin. So, is this relaxing, Claire? <laughs> yeah, okay. you're gonna fall asleep over there. Yeah, I know you're gonna you've come had a long every morning. Already. <laughs> <laughs> come to my house every morning and do this. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> just smile. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of blush, and this is just on the apples of your cheeks. You smile, and the best way to pick a color that works best for you with blush is to take your natural blushing color, and it's a shade darker than that. Mm -hmm. So you pinch your cheeks. You see how how much color you get when you pinch your cheeks, and that's the color that you pick when you're picking your blush. But what I'm going to do is give Claire a nice natural look mm -hmm. and just enhance her features a little bit more. You know, it should only take about five minutes to do your makeup. So once you have your colors all chosen, mm -hmm. then it's easy to just to puff on. You just need your system. What goes first? What goes next? And you can do it with your eyes closed. Five minutes, really? Oh, yes. Shouldn't take okay. more than five minutes. <laughs> okay. Hear that? Five minutes. I can do that. <laughs> can you find five minutes? <laughs> now this is just an all-over color. It's an enhancer or highlighter, and it's a color that you put all over, and it just lightens and brightens and adds just a little bit of an oomph to her eye. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of white and add it up here near her eyebrows. So then we'll draw attention to the upper part of her eye and her eyelid and her eyebrows because that's going to give her a lift. Now this is just a little bit of brow that I'm adding. Okay. And with brow pencils, what you want to do is sort of brush it on, like you're coloring as opposed to drawing a line. Okay. You really want to darken the hair, not the skin underneath. Hmm. So that's the natural way of having a nice formed brow without having So it should not look on. like you drew a line on your eyebrows. That's correct. <laughs> and the good thing is is that the you know when you a lot of people don't like to enhance their brows a lot, but what it does is it draws the attention once again up. Interesting. And it gives you a little yeah. bit more of a lift. Mm -hmm. Now right now I'm creating a line. It's a soft, subtle line with a brush and eyeshadow as opposed to an eyeliner. Okay. And that just creates a soft liner as opposed to a more dramatic mm -hmm. liner. And you can wet the brush and get it even more dramatic, or you can just keep it nice and soft, but you need a nice thin brush. Now the colors you're picking are colors to enhance my colors or Oh of course. Yeah. To enhance your color. So when you open your eyes, you've got these like beautiful green blue eyes, and I see this little specks of yellow in them. Mm -hmm. So I'm making them lighter and brighter and more blue. Now a lot of people think that to make your eyes look blue, you want you want to add a little blue to it. And right. you really don't have to. You really should just use any more of the natural yellows and browns and beiges mm -hmm. that um, that make the blue pop. A little okay. bit more because that's what we want to do. We want to pull the blue out as opposed to Match. color it. So something, that, right. yeah. mm -hmm. so something that complements, complements the blue it. doesn't, right, like you right. said. Now, same thing with lips. You really want to take the color of your natural lip without anything on it and use 
a shade within that spectrum. So lighter, darker, brighter, but within that shade. And a lot of people have deep dark lips. Some people have mm -hmm. a little bit more of a red or cherry mm -hmm. lips, which I wish I had. And some people have more of a mauve lip. So we're going to go a little bit more mauve. Okay. So you shouldn't be picking a lipstick color to match your outfit. It should be going either darker or lighter than your lips? Well, really, it depends on whether you're going for a natural look or whether you're making a okay. statement. Okay. So if you're making a statement, throw on a nice red, red, bright red lipstick. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you can stick with all your subtle go-tos. Okay. okay, so we're all done with skin. We'll go right into hair. That's great. So what I'd like to start with first is just a volumizing spray. So what I'd like to do with your hair is just give it a little bit more of, of height and style and more of a classic look to your hair. So I'm going to add some fun curls and lift it and move it so it works for you a little bit more. You have gorgeous thick hair, so what I'd like to do is just really make it nice and full of volume. We're going to add a little bit more volume up top and on the side, so then not all your volume stays near here. What I'd like to do is have it sort of distributed throughout. And what I'm doing is just curling in all different directions. And this is just creating a wave to your hair, but not a shape. We don't necessarily want to shape your hair. You know, the the helmet, helmet look. Helmet look. Yeah. Exactly. So what do you think of the new the hairstyle and the makeup and having that done? I, I love it. And I like how easy it was. It's not uh, a real lengthy process. Mm -hmm. Now, Leslie, you, you do this um, for lots of people. I do. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that, like how, what your philosophy is as far as when you help someone like Claire who wants some, sure. some enhancement? Sure. When people call me for a consultation, usually we start with the closet. We, we go through the wardrobe. Um, I get to see a little bit of more about who they are, what they like, what styles like, they like, what colors they like. And all I do is really just work with what they have and create go-to outfits. So then that way they can just grab and go. And you can even have them hung up and ironed and pressed and ready to go. So then that way you don't have mm -hmm. to put a lot of thought and effort into it. But you have some great outfits that look good together. You've already tried on and you know that you're good. Too. So I create a bunch of go-tos, we purge a bunch of stuff that's not really um, flattering for them, and, um, and then we just play, really, with wardrobe. And then with hair, um, I just play a little bit with it and see, um, you know, what works for them, what they can do, what they like to do, what they're doing already, and just enhance it. And same thing with makeup. I try to use um, a little bit more than what they're using to just pop a little mm -hmm. bit and because I'm trying to enhance their features um, and I'll show them how to do that with their makeup um, or if they would like to incorporate any more colors or anything more into their wardrobe I usually have them have a list with them so they can just pop some things down in case they need to pick it up but mostly I just work with what they have. Mm -hmm. And then with short hair so Claire has shorter hair is that a little bit more of a challenge to sort of mix it up or is it I mean I, it looks great um, yeah. Well, it's a, it's a little bit more of a challenge because there's less to do with it. But, um, but the positive is that if they're always used to doing their hair a certain way, I can show them a little bit more of an, of an, like an alternation of it. So mm -hmm. that way, um, you know, I curled the different pieces in different mm -hmm. directions yeah, as opposed to going in one direction. We don't want to have the feathered look. And we've got a little bit more of the height on top and the height all the way around. Mm -hmm. So it, it looks youthful and it looks mm -hmm. like a classic look. Do you think that's something that you would... Um be able to spend time doing. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. It wasn't hard. Great, and I think that the concept of five minutes for makeup is—I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> Any more than that, no one really has time for that, right? Right. right. Yeah. So we have a clip of the in-home consult process, and when we come back, we're going to talk about the wardrobe selections that Leslie did for Claire. <laughs> Leslie, you ready for your makeover? Yeah, come on in. <laughs> A good thing to do is, is create some staples, your go-tos. So so let's do that. Tell me a little bit about this. Do you wear this much? It's old. It's old. It's It seems to be a little bit young. 
I love the color, I love the design, I love the little lace. Lace is definitely in, we'll definitely keep that way. I think you're too young for it, is what I think. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love it, like it, or hate it? Like it. Well, what's more important than what's in style is how it feels, you know, how it looks on you, how it fits you, and how you feel in it. That one's never fit me. Oh, good. Well, let's, get it. let's get rid of that one. <laughs> This is great. This is a good color for you. It's a good color for the season. This is a great shirt to get on to. These are dated, dated heels. Okay. And that's a dated toe. And it's just not flattering. They're not feminine. They're not flattering. I don't. I don't like the toe, but I love the shoe. I love the sandal. So you wear them all the time, but they're just used and abused shoes that you yeah. want to continue to use and abuse? Yeah. We'll keep them. I love the fact that these are slides and they're a loafer style. Okay, I can tell. If if you garden in these, great. Yeah. But otherwise, I don't wear them tell in me. Public. You don't wear them in public? No, okay, that's I can't. good. So you want them to you want them to look worn, but not stone washed. You've got so many dresses in here that are either too young or too old. Okay. Well, help me. You <laughs> You should definitely not wear anything that's um, that's too old for you. Now, I like the cut on this, and I like the color, but how does it fit? It fits well. It fits well, and yep. I like it? Yep. So we'll hold that one. I feel like it's it's too close to your hair color, because you've okay. got a lot of blondes in your hair, and, and I just think it would just wash it up. Okay. Pull out all of your color. And this one, it has a lot of bright, vibrant color. Which can scare off a lot of people, but it seems like it's a great cut. Yeah, it's a great cut. It fits me really well. My old favorites. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. It's so nice to just get rid of everything. <laughs> it was so much fun being at your house and kind of seeing Leslie, like you said, just pick sort of the gems out. <clears throat> and also some of the, the not so sparkly ones. <laughs> But you seem to appreciate that. Oh, yes, it was great. It yeah. needed to be done, too. It's nice to have someone who can just sort of be honest with you and say, do you really wear this? Are you going to wear this? And then put it in that big pile that was on the floor. Right. <laughs> so, Leslie, tell us about Claire's outfit number one. Well, a lot, there were a lot of pieces in your closet, Claire, that I had noticed um, that had a little bit more of a feminine flair. And, and that's really why I picked this shirt, because I, I loved how it just had a little bit nice flow to it, and it was soft and pretty. And the pants I love because they're your great go-to spring, summer. They're nice and long. Um, they fit well, and they make you look nice and tall, especially paired with heels. So talk a little bit about the shoes, because I know heels are something that, it's hard. As a teacher, you probably don't wear heels very often. No, not very much at school. Yeah. So do you feel comfortable in them, or? Um, I probably could find something that's more comfortable, you know, I could look for that, but mm -hmm. normally at school I don't wear high heels. Mm -hmm. so, do you, so do you have suggestions of how to sort of balance the being fashionable with comfortable? <laughs> definitely, definitely, because you can add a little bit of a height with a wedge. So you can't go wrong with that. They're comfortable, um, they're much more comfortable than heels, and they still give you a little bit of height. But even if you want to wear flats, all you have to do is have your pants just go right about to the floor, to your shoe. You don't want your pants too long. Um, so you just want to really coordinate your shoes and your pants together. Mm -hmm. Or if you're wearing a skirt, um, the, the more feminine, flowy skirt with flats, the better. Okay, oh, that's, a good, that's a good idea, because sometimes I don't know, you know, if you have like a shorter straight skirt, do flats ruin it, or do they, but it sounds like you want flats more with fuller skirts. Maybe fuller skirts and shorter skirts, not short, but shorter, because you really, w what heels do is they elongate your leg by showing your nice calf muscles. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to eliminate that, then your legs are going to be a little bit more stout. So mm -hmm. you want to show a little bit more leg so you look longer and leaner. Okay. And then tell it tell us again the rule about where your pants should fall because I'm I'm terrible at that. Well, really, it just depends on what kind of look you're going for. Because if you've got a straight leg, a wide leg, or something that's fitted, your fitted should really just go to your ankle. Okay. Your, um, your wide leg should go all the way to the middle of your heel. 
so it shouldn't go all the way to the floor. Okay. Um, your toe and the bottom of your heel should be the only thing really showing. You don't want it anything. You don't want anything too much higher than that. And um, and straight leg. Straight legs a little bit trickier, but you can wear straight leg um, rolled up, and you can wear them with flats. They look well. They look great too. So what are the big no-nos? Dragging on the floor. It sounds like yeah. dragging on the floor. Right. <laughs> and ankles. Right. And ankles showing ankles. Right. Although now there's those like crop. Not cropped, but skimmers? Right. And so it really, what are, what's the deal with skimmers? You really just have to, to look at how does it tailor to your body? Does it come out or does it tailor in? Mm -hmm. So if it tailors in, then you can go as short as you want. Okay. And if it comes out, that's the longer it goes. Okay. So that's a good way of looking at it. Okay. So wide, long, tailored can be shorter. Mm hmm Okay. It could be, tailored could be all the way to your ankle or it could be up a little bit more or it okay. could be even capris. Okay. Okay. Great. So Claire has a outfit number two that she is going to model for us when we get back. And here is Claire's outfit number two. Leslie, do you want to tell us what the occasion would be and tell us a little bit about why you chose this ensemble? Well, with spring here, um, what I recommend when I meet up with clients is just pull out all your colors, some colors that you can play with. Sherbert's a great color this season. This is a variation of Sherbert, and um, I'm a big fan of scarves. I always throw scarves on because they can keep you warm. You don't have to wear a jacket. They pop a little bit more. They have a little bit more of a flair to them. So this is more of a casual Saturday, everyday, kind of going out with your girlfriends and having lunch, maybe shopping. So that was the look that I created here. It's a nice go-to spring outfit. Great. So Claire, how do you feel in this outfit? I like it. Yeah. I, I mean, I've never worn the scarf with jeans, mm. so it's, it's kind of nice. Have you Now, are, are these pieces things that you wore frequently before, or were some of them things that you were like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen that in ages, and it was in the back of your closet? Um, I hadn't had the shirt out since last year. Okay. So, yeah. But it's kind of nice. It is spring, so I can bring the colors out again. Mm -hmm. And uh, never wore the scarf with the shirt, but I like it together. Yeah, it looks great. And it looks comfortable. I mean, it's, it, that's the nice thing is it looks put together, but, but it's, you can be comfortable in it. Mm -hmm. So, which is important. I don't know if you can wear jeans when you're teaching, but it's important yeah. for school too, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Cool. And the shoes are, those, now those are comfortable shoes that you could wear yeah. for work, right? Yeah. I think those are the shoes that Leslie was talking about in the video. The, kind of easy the loafers, and this is a good length for flats. And then this way, you can wear something that's comfortable. You can move around a little bit faster instead of struggling with heels. And this is just a good length of a jean, and um, it covers a little bit of the shoe, so they're not too short. And the shoes are just comfy loafers. And you could really dress this outfit up a little bit more, wear it to work with the beige pants that you had on earlier, the khakis. Okay. Mm. That's a great idea. Okay, well, we're going to be back with outfit number three. And here we have Claire's outfit number three. Uh, Leslie, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Well, I created this look for dating. So then this way, when Claire and Brian go out on a nice hot little date, she has a nice cute little waist and tall and feminine. She has her heels on. So this is just a nice going out look. Okay, and Claire, do you... Um, do you tend to dress up when you go out, or are you more just casual jeans? No, I, I dress up when I can, you know, you when we go on dates, yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, this, you look great in this. Thank you. Do you feel good? Yeah, I like it. Excellent. Okay. Good. So let's move on to outfit number four. So this is the last outfit, at least, that Claire brought to the studio today. So tell us a little bit about that, and let's, and let's uh, chat some more. So this is more of a, a work transition outfit. So you could wear this to work and then go right out with your friends after, maybe do a happy hour to the movies. Um, it's just a nice go-to for pretty much anything. You could wear it on a date, you could wear it to work, you could go out with your friends. Um, I like outfits that are versatile. You can wear them in mm -hmm. all different ways. Mm -hmm. so that's what I created this go-to mm -hmm. for. Now, Claire, is, are these pieces things that you wear normally, or do they kind of cut, get um, pulled out of the back of the closet? Separately, to but, come back and check but this. never together. Again, never together. I just <laughs> don't think of combining these things. Uh -huh. You know, I tend to just grab the same things. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I love it, and I love the long, how it makes me look taller. It looks great. I mean, you really look great in that outfit. I love the necklace. Is that a necklace you wear frequently, or? Well, not in about 
eight years. Oh my gosh, <laughs> wow. isn't that eight amazing? Eight years, that's a great necklace. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So it is interesting because you do have things that you just don't, you, they're there, but you don't, it's like when your bushes in front of your house get overgrown, you just don't notice yeah. it. Like well, to have another set of eyes come into your closet, and when you came in and looked at things and held them up separately, I liked how she took everything off the rack, and we had to make a decision before it went back. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, also now you have all these new outfits, even though you didn't, you didn't buy a thing for no, this. didn't buy anything. Not a thing. Every single thing came from her closet, which I think yeah. is amazing. So now, I, Leslie, I wanted to ask you a question sure. about when you were doing the in-home consult, um, some things you'd say, oh, this is, I think this is too young for you, or this is just too old for you. So how do you, how do you decide that? Like, what is your eye telling you that's making you uh, that's, think that? That's tricky. I go off instinct with that. Um, I, I think that really it's all about fit. Uh, the tighter and shorter, the younger, mm -hmm. and um, and the bigger and bulkier, the older. And you know, we just tend to wear things that are a little bit more, um, that are a little bit bigger, and they're not as form fitting mm -hmm. as the older we get. And when you've got a great waist like you do, and you've got the length, you've got these gorgeous legs. I I can see you adding a little bit of youth and style and you have to find that balance so you don't look like you're trying to dress young and you're not dressing older than you are. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. flattering and it all is about fit and tailored to your body and the colors that work for you. So those are the two things that you really want to keep in mind. How's the color on me and how does it fit? Do you feel comfortable wearing things that are, um, and I'm not going to say tight, but just more form-fitting? Well, what she helped me pick out were the right kind of form fitting because there's the right and the wrong. Right. Um, so, no, I like it. And this is loose fitting, but still it, it creates length and flatters. Since mm -hmm. it cinches. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Since mm -hmm. it cinches a little bit at her waist and doesn't square off. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I always come back to shoes because shoes are such a mystery to me. <laughs> I mean, there are just so many, and they change, and then you, and like, at your house, we discovered you had a whole closet full of shoes, and you know a lot of them just you either didn't wear or just were not um, things that you would like. These heels were great. You've been wearing these with right. a lot of different outfits, but you know you kind of had the same type of shoes. Right. Um, so, Leslie, t tell us a little bit about what is in fashion, what is what we really should avoid, what you can kind of get away with, as far as like heel. Toe style, you were talking about heels, toes. Wedges are big this season, so wedges are great. And like I said before, they're versatile because you, they are a little bit higher than a flat, but they are almost as comfortable as a flat. So they're the in-between, which I love. So then that way, you can really wear them with something like this. Or you could create the same look here with a flat by getting a open toe flat. So mm -hmm. if you get an open toe flat and your pants lay straight and they mm -hmm. lay right, then you'll have the same look. You just won't have the height. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations, Claire. Thanks. You look like a million dollars. And yeah. now you have all these outfits that you can wear to, wear to school and wear out. And yeah. You're going to an event tonight, right? So yeah. Are you going to go in one of these outfits? Yes, I am. Thanks. Good time. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you, Claire. Thank you so much for watching. You've been watching Life and Style with Sarah. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you.